Hello everyone. Welcome back to this module of online spoken English classes. In all these sessions, we have been dealing with the nouns that often confuse us while we speak. But I hope you must have very well understood that which word should we use at which place. In the previous sessions, we had talked about many words or rather say nouns that confuse us. Today we will be talking more on confusion of number. We will be talking about the numbers that often confuse us. So first, listen to a sentence. He gave me some good advices. This is incorrect. Advices can never be plural. When only one thing is meant, we say a piece of advice. Okay? And here, the correct expression shall be, He gave me some good advice. Let us move on. Information. Can you give me any informations? No, this is incorrect. Informations again will not be plural. The correct statement is, can you give me any information? When only one thing is meant, we say an item or a bit of information. As, for example, he gave me a useful item of information. Furniture. Furnitures are often made of wood. Furniture is a singular noun and always takes a singular verb and pronoun. A piece of furniture means one thing only. But when we say furniture, it can also be used in its plural sense. Again, when we use luggage, his luggages are at the station. So here again, his luggage is at the station. Baggage, another word for luggage, cannot be used in plural either. The baggage is ready for train. Again, we say damage. The fire caused many damages. This is incorrect. The fire caused much damage. The plural form damages denotes money paid to make good a loss. As the insurance company paid the man's damages. So I hope this must be clear to you. Again, today I have many works to do. We don't ever use works. We should always say Today, I have a lot of work to do. The plural form of works means a factory or the writings of an author. For example, works of Shakespeare or we say this is a factory of fireworks. Character The school builds good character. The plural form of character, that is characters, denotes the letter of the alphabet or the person in a book or a play. Character that we generally use for charitra cannot be plural. Here, we again don't use the plural for here. Here in itself is plural. That woman has beautiful hairs. That woman has beautiful hair. 
Thanks for listening to the session.